Nikki, thanks for joining us. Obviously final, but the difference won all in the round games? Yeah, certainly it's going to be a tight one today. I think we've just got to make the most of our opportunities. Be really tight at the back. They've got a couple of strikers that are potent and um, if we let them give them any room, they're going to punish us. So it's important we're nice and tight and any control the midfield and then up front we need to make sure of our opportunities. And we spoke about in the previous game the youth and the inexperience in the side and then obviously the old heads that's a great combination to have in the Brisbane side. Yeah it certainly is and I've been so pleased with the way we from the first game and the way we've progressed and our combinations are working really well at the moment and they have progressed as we've gone along as we have gone along so hoping today and this afternoon we're going to um, all put it together. I'm with Shane Cowling from the Sharks. Nice outfit Shane. Thank you very much. Uh, we usually throw this on uh, sort of the person that has the stuff up for the day, so the girls G'd me up to throw this on for the interviews, so all fun, mate. Yeah, mate, look, thanks for joining us. One all in the round games with Brisbane. We spoke to Nikki about that as well. It's a different game. It's the final. Yeah, definitely. When it comes to finals time, it's a whole different ball game. You know, it's all a matter of putting a bit of heart on the line. The girls have got a, a fantastic group, sort of knit, tight knit together, which is always helpful, but uh, when it comes down to it, grand finals are just... Give it all, hey, absolutely give it all. So and the girls are ready today to, uh, to take it to Brisbane and, and come away with a win. So as a, as a coach assistant coach, is it hard to get those combinations happening with the girls who normally don't play together? Definitely. Um, we had pretty good preparation. Uh, we had a few trial games down at Tweed, which made life, life very easy. Um, so we got to work with combinations and everything like that. So put, coming here and putting in a practice, they've done really, really well to get to the, to the grand final. And they're excited for you. I yeah. can hear it in the background <laughs> over there. So um, yeah. they're obviously relaxed enough. So you've done well as coaching us to get them in the right attitude. Yeah, definitely. Kerry's done a fantastic job as well as Kel, who's our manager. We've just worked really hard with the girls. And uh, and look, you know, we've come to the final day and the grand final, mate. They're really excited, as you said. So, But it's still sunny. So it doesn't look like any chance of rain. So it should be a great, some great weather for some hockey today. And we're underway in the Polygrass Super League final between South Coast Sharks and the Brisbane Blitz. Trying to work it down the centre, Britt Wilson manages to turn it over. There's Gallagher with the ball, heavily shadowed, finds a spot in the backboard. That's the first goal from Tiana Barrett. What a beauty. The Blitz go up one goal to nil. Yeah, what a great goal and what a great play. The Blitz just jumped on that that early error from the backs there, that slow ball speed, speed and then it was... Um, just a basic skill not executed. Okay, so here, here goes Gallagher. Great pass, Barrett puts it in. Not too many leads, but gets it through to Ashton. Lowry missed the ball. Ashton's gonna run it into the circle. And now, oh, great save by Cummerford. Stops the shot. And again, that's gone in though. And that ties up the game, one goal old. And so as you can see, what a great save from Comerford, but there's still a scramble in a circle and uh, the Sharks get it again. And yeah, just loose marking on the second post there. Lowry should have been a lot tighter there. Ashlyn McBurney gets it forward. Now with Ferguson. Ferguson gets through two, puts it on the feet of the third one, takes off, trying to work it into the circle. Now she does, she's gonna have a shot. Oh, and oh. it's in the back of the net, off the stick of Anderson. And that makes it two goals to one. Yes, and it's interesting here. It looks like the Sharks actually had the numbers to defend this, but ever, no one actually went to put pressure on the ball carrier. So, oh, uh, yes. And there you go. Yeah, that was a great press from Ferguson. She really got in the way. Brisbane would have been under a lot of pressure if she didn't make that trap. Oh, and there's a nice overhead to Chelsea Bodymead. Gets it to... Ferguson. Genevieve Ferguson, now with Barrett, can Barrett get a turn and a shot and it's in the back of the net for a goal, what an absolute beauty. What a great goal and that's why we call Fergie Tiger Woods because she comes up with shots like that. Great pass to Ferguson, looks up, feeds it in. Barrett, what great strength, that's the athleticism you need from a player and especially from a striker to to get a push in the back but still come away with a decent shot Sharks. and she's doing a great job. In it goes again, nice and fast to Zoe Smart, back across to L1. Shot, oh, nice save by Camerford. That's an absolute ripper. 
So great inject, good trap, and a great layoff, and a decent hit, but it was high, but Claire made the save anyway, so that's what you want. Ferguson's not going to touch it this time. Into the circle, shot at goal, on target, but Comfort makes an easy save. Yeah, what a great save, and what a great shot. That's one of the most awkward spots for a keeper to save as well, just that awkward spot between hand or leg. So it's, it was a really great executed shot. And look, Claire makes the save really well. Good job, Comerford. R2 deflection, because Reggie is a great deflector, so she'd be a key person to watch for this. So it's a smart dump to L1. Straight shot and kick clear, but only as far as oh. Reggie Ashton, who nudges it in the back for the second goal for South Coast at three goals to two. So have a look at the replay here. Laid off left and then fed in. And there's a bit of a scramble. Claire cl clears it. And then Reggie, yeah, gets the touch in off Shorty's stick there. Great so, layoff. The Brisbane players adjust, but not quite enough to get this second shot. Yep, that's it. Rooting gets it down to Ashton. Ashton, she's going to drive it into the circle. Looking to get it to a player on the spot, but can't get it past Schultz. Schultz clearing, can't do it. And Malone, a great tomahawk shot to square up the match. Three goals all. Yeah, what a, what a great build-up. The Sharks had the momentum and... Brisbane just couldn't handle it again. So here comes Reggie at the baseline, tries to feed it in. Schultz tries to... Rosie just turns, spins and pulls off a great tomahawk. She's known for that killer tomahawk. She's got Tiana Barrett. Tiana Barrett, can she get a shot away? Yes, she can, but not enough. Good work from both Maddie Smith and Stone and Fitzpatrick. And again, another save, but gets it past Maddie Smith. Ferguson scores again and makes Brisbane four, sunny coast or south coast three. So here's the replay. Smithers just tries to clear it there. Tiana gets it. What a great second phase play from Tiana. Passes it through. Deflection save and a second shot from Ferguson. Genevieve Ferguson goes down the line, finds Richards. Richards got Barrett on the spot, tries to get it to us. Off the feet. Umpires playing advantage. Gets it across. Can't get anything on it and just managed Tara Fitzpatrick again clears the ball for South Coast. Yeah, she's having an absolute blinder. Great work from Richards here. I thought she was going to pin the ears back and have a shot herself, but she goes to pass it. Yes, and Barrett just couldn't get on the end of that ball then, but it was a great pass across. And that's why that's the end of the game. The 2016 women's Potograss Super League champions are Brisbane. They beat the South Coast four goals to three. Great final, but wrong end of the score. Yeah, that's right. We tried our hardest and definitely fought back near the end. Like, couldn't be prouder of the girls. They didn't stop fighting till the end. So, I mean, a corner on the hooter. We really gave ourselves the best chance we could. And, and you said before, coming back from 3-1 down as yeah. well. Like, fantastic effort from the girls. Oh, definitely. We never gave up, which is all you want in a group of girls. We really fought hard. And we've spoken about it a lot, but getting this group together, like how do you get those combinations to get to the final? To be honest, I think it's just a lot of communication and I think we all just have quite of a laugh together and it's just talking about, you know, when something doesn't quite work, like why didn't it work and then so next time you don't make the same mistake really. And it looked like you girls were having fun, which is all part of the game and Shane Cowling at the pre-match, I know you were giving him some with the <laughs> outfit but and you're laughing now, which is fantastic. Yeah, yeah we... We all really like each other and we've had such a ball this weekend and to be honest, I think we're the first uh, South Coast team to ever make a final so for us it's a pretty big effort and we're really proud of ourselves. So. Well what a, what a game for the final. Yeah, normally um, the final's not one of the best games of the tournament because everyone's pretty uh, tired after five games but that was a bit different, that was a good, good contest and right till the end. Lauren, we spoke about the youth and the old brigade like yourself and it's a great combination that Brisbane have had and you've come away with a win this afternoon. Yeah, really good. Um, to be honest, with such a young team and then such a mixture of ages, we didn't really know how it was going to come together but it's just it's worked really well and we got better over the six games. So um, it's just been a great weekend for the young girls too, especially. And having someone like Nikki in charge must just settle everything down? Yeah, always. I love... That's why I keep... One of the main reasons I keep playing every year is to, to get coached by Nikki. I think she's great. She's so organised and, and, and watches all the other teams play, so she always has um, you know, the perfect game plan.